think for me it was a good opportunity to get out again because Ben would have only been a couple of months old at the time. So it was nice to have an opportunity to go out and meet other mums, other babies and talk to others to see what was happening to them um, and what their experiences were. Um, I've enjoyed meeting new people, meeting other mums and their babies, um, learning the different techniques and just bonding with my baby, it's, it's helped a lot. I really enjoyed meeting uh, new mums that were in the same boat as me with their new reborn babies. It was great to learn new skills, uh, especially in baby massage and things, something that I could do for my baby that she really enjoyed and that I really enjoyed as well. I think for me it was just um, it was a, just a lovely thing to be able to do with her and with just her because I have five children so my time is very split amongst all of the children so it was a lovely thing to be able to just spend time with her and doing something specifically with her. Being a first time mum it's handling my baby for the first time because I've not really been around babies um, and yeah I think that's about it and learning their needs as well I can recognise their needs more. first benefit was um, just being calmer the baby it was a time to um, feel more confident in how I moved with him and how um, sort of I was able to look after him and calm him down. A big thing for me was confidence, um, kind of getting out and about, especially so early in the morning with a little baby, um, definitely was a, a big thing was confidence for myself. I think for me it really helped me to read Ben's cues more because you were focusing on him and every little movement kind of had a meaning and it meant that I could tell uh, or learn to tell more where when, when he liked things being done to him, when he wasn't so keen on something and also when it was a good time to do things like massage and when it wasn't a good time that's equally as important. Well, I had to stop breastfeeding very early because I wasn't producing enough milk and with that Phoebe became very constipated um, and she was really struggling to pass stool. After doing the sessions, um, after the second week, the benefits were amazing to Phoebe. Um, her bowels returned to normal, she was a lot happier and I was a lot happier because I'd been feeling very guilty about giving up and thought that I had um, hurt her a little bit and I hadn't. It was amazing, the benefits were amazing, I can't thank her on enough. She sleeps a lot better. <laughs> if we do the massage after bath time, um, it's just it helps her relax so she sleeps longer, which is good. Um, for Ben, I think we, we built it into our bedtime routine so it gave um, him an opportunity to wind down hopefully before bedtime and bath and so on and it also helped us obviously wind down because it's a lovely thing to do. Um, we, also, we also used it when he was having some problems, for example when he had bad trapped wind one night and using the abdom abdominal massage techniques that really helped us to relieve some of his pain as it wasn't a fun evening. <laughs> And it really helps. We've used it as part of a routine at night um, after he has a bath. I give her a massage and it's a nice calming routine and I think at eight months old now he's beginning to learn that he has his bath, we have the massage and then it's time to go to bed. So it's it's been a really good way to get a routine started and just to carry on with it. It's just been a really good experience and even just doing that ongoing um, as she's getting older and I do it on my three-year-old as well and he really loves it as well and so that's also just a good time to spend with him and he has sensory issues and that has helped a lot with his, his sensory processing issues to just calm him and relax him um, so from that point of view it's just, all of it has just been really good I would highly recommend it to anybody. For my partner I showed him how to do it too um, and he felt he bonded a lot with her son from doing it. Um, so it was it was always kind of not every night, but it was a big t part of our bedtime routine. Um, maybe every kind of second or third night, and, and a lot of the time it was my partner that done it because I'd done the classes. So it was great. It was really good. It become part of our daily routine. At night time, what would happen in the house was I would do baby, every night we would do baby massage as part of our bedtime routine. Then Phoebe would go in the bath. My husband would bath Phoebe, and then we'd come out and give her a, a bottle to like for bedtime. 
and the bet it's most valuable at getting her down to sleep, you know, the, the precious sleep as we call it. It was lovely, you know, she was more relaxed, calmer and a lot more happier after a massage, definitely, 100%. Learning the different techniques, um, she did have a bit of constipation so I knew using the tummy strokes and that helped and I wouldn't have known that if I never came. And also getting the worksheets to do to practice at home, that was, that was really good and helpful. I think it's a lovely thing to do and, and it just gives you that extra skill that you're able to use to help your baby if, if something crops up such as colic, trapped wind, um, constipation and so on. It's really helpful and it helps them alleviate their problem and it also helps to calm them down a bit. Um, and it's also something that can be used at uh, bedtime. Um, it's just part of the wind down process and making everything a lot more relaxed in the evening. Just do it because it's just lovely and the people are lovely and it's really relaxed, it's not stuffy, it's not sort of if your baby's crying, if your baby needs feeding, it doesn't matter. I, I would say go for it, 100%. It was a really good class, it was really lovely to meet other mums, other babies um, and, and we're all still friends now from it as well. Do it. 100% do it. Best course I've done for Phoebe so far, definitely. Um, loved every minute of it. I was actually really gutted when it stopped because I love it and I still do it now. If she's having any problems like teething or with her bowels or even just for nice, it's just nice to do. It's brilliant. <laughs>